Hey guys, welcome back again to Willpower Outdoors. On this hunt, we were in Missouri. It was full swing rut. I mean, the bucks were chasing the does hard. We'd had a great week up there. Owen was tagged out. I was tagged out. My dad had shot a buck with his bow the day before gun season, but he still had his gun tag. So uh, dad was the only one left on Saturday evening. And uh, I decided I may as well go film them. I filmed them all day that day. And it was just an awesome day of hunting. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we got there real early into this blind. We had a boss buck blind on a roll around trailer so we could move it around the farm. And uh, we got in there. I stuck Trevor out, my deer decoy, and it wasn't 20 minutes and we already had a pretty decent buck coming towards it. We had a ton of luck at this spot that morning. We saw a bunch of deer, saw a pretty nice three and a half year old buck. We decided to give him the pass, but dad and I, we had this special spot that we planned on going to in the evening. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Williams with Gear for Deer. I'm here with my son, Hayden Williams with Willpower Outdoors, and we are filming in central Missouri. We have had an unbelievable hunt. This, this week we are right here at the uh, tail end of the first archery season and the first gun season. And uh, Hayden took a real nice buck with his bow and took a real nice buck with his gun. And I took a real nice buck with my bow the day before gun season started. It's the second day of gun season. And uh, we've had some awesome encounters where the bucks are chasing the does. It's so exciting to be in the boss buck blinds right now and uh, we are looking forward to getting this hunt going. We're gonna go up in here. It's really gray this evening. Old cold front moved through. It just feels like the deer ought to be moving real good. So stick with us. Let's see what, let's see what we can come up with. So my dad, he had just uh, climbed up the ladder into the boss buck blind and I went up there right after him and I'm getting the camera mounted up on the tripod 
And before I could even do any of the B-roll stuff with the camera for the footage of the hunt, we looked over to our right and there was already a big buck that had chased a doe into the field. Man, what a hunt here in Missouri. Oh man, I tell you what everybody, we uh, are sitting here in a boss buck blind in, in uh, central Missouri. And uh, we've been managing this property for about five years now and it's really starting to pay off. We've killed some really nice bucks this week with Oh, here's some more does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot another doe. <laughs> saying um, we just put a nice one down um, I'm using a Remington 308 with a Burris um, I can't even remember what they're called they're called an elim Burris Eliminator that buck was out there 251 yards I touched it off put the dot on him and uh, I was kind of shook up after I shot that shot at that buck, and I had I've got a doe tag too, and I think I just flat missed her because I was shaking pretty good <laughs> after the buck. But anyway, uh, this is what we live for as deer hunters. Um, thanks, Tom, with Boss Buck for building these blinds. Um, we. Uh, just couldn't ask for a better hunt here in central Missouri. It's up there. It's uh, November 11th today, November 12th today. The bucks are chasing the does. I mean, they're hitting them hard. We've seen three heavy duty chases today. Um, over here on this side of the blind, we've got a decoy. And uh, we're using our Sweetberry spray and our cover scent from Gear for Deer. Um, or our uh, scent eliminator from Gear for Deer. And we're just having a big time here in Missouri and we enjoy this. This is this is what we look forward to every year and I cannot wait to get over there and go lay my hands on that buck and see what we've got. guys one of the things that makes this uh, place that we're hunting so great is the people here that run cattle they don't over overgraze their pastures they don't run so many cattle in that they disrupt all of the bedding area and it's just full of native grass and clover and uh, the deer have all kinds of stuff to pick from and browse from here they, they can pick and browse on this all spring winter and summer and uh, they fertilize this and that really really helps build the nutritional value of the grass and the browse here in these fields 
and it grows big deer and um, we are really really excited this is our fifth year on this farm and we're gonna go see what we got down over here in a brush pile. <laughs> now check this deal out. Folks, I've shot a lot of deer in my life. I've never shot one that died in a brush pile. Freaking nice buck. Got some broke off right here a little bit. Broke off right here a little bit. And uh, what makes this even more special, not only is he a super nice buck, but uh, we have taken a uh, real hard line on our, our four-year-old four-by-fours and, and older. And uh, we're trying to help increase the five-by-five five genetics on this property. And uh, we have took three super-duper four-by-fours off this place this year. And this is one more right here. So we are tickled to death what we got going on here and I'm telling you I've never seen one die in a brush pile like this this is amazing so uh, guys we appreciate you watching our videos at willpower outdoors and gear for deer uh, my son's pulling the truck up right here I've got another doe standing out here in the field she might want me to shoot her <laughs> okay <laughs> well, holy moly. Okay, well, I bet you don't see this on very many shows. Come down here to my brush paw buck, and I think it's that doe that I shot at when I was all shook up after shooting at this dude. She comes back out here looking, and I got a good, safe, clear shot right over here. Touch the old burris off, 121 yards. Boom, we got us our big mature doe. I'm, uh, I'm shooting at least one doe for every buck on this property, and I've done my part. And there's my, my other son coming with the truck right now, so we'll be able to load up two deer, just bingo, bango right here, and old Pop's gonna get to sleep in tomorrow morning. Man, now this is what deer hunting's about. This is some fun stuff. Look at this brush pile buck. That's crazy. Just like that. Bingo bango. More deer sausage. Just like that. Alright guys, I just want to take a minute and tell you thanks again for watching another one of our videos here at Willpower Outdoors. We hope you liked it as always. Tell your buddies about us and always hit that subscribe button so we can keep on putting these videos up for y'all.